Good morning, my people. So this is one thing that we haven't shared a lot of is our chicken coop. Um, so this is their chicken run. So when we're not here, we like to keep them locked away in there because it's not as uh, open and we have neighborhood dogs that are running around. But uh, we have taken an old just shed that my parents were gonna throw away. It was my grandma's and after she passed away, I just totally dented this stainless steel bucket. Um, and I recited it um, before we had our son and it uh, has worked out really well. So I'll show you inside of it and I wanna show and update you guys on the run chicken door that we have, that run chicken sent us, as well as the laying box so that we can kind of fill you in on what, how that's been going. So it's been about a week since we've had the run chicken door installed. Well, it was 14th. So yeah, a little over 10 days that we got it installed. And it is so nice. That thing has not had any problems. The only problems I have had is that our son likes to press the button. And one night he had pressed it when he was out here playing. But that is not a big deal. It has opened and closed every night without a single problem. Um, and it's been cold here lately super cold um but i absolutely love this door so far and it's been such a lifesaver that is another project for another day that we started and never finished but anyway um yeah so this is their run this is they get to hang out under the tree which we are going to be moving this run in the summer um we're going to be making this entire area a pasture for health and helen and ruth but also here are the ladies they aren't as friendly as our other flock but this is our coop. It still needs to get cleaned. Um, we have solar lights that apparently fallen down in the last night, last night. Um, but also, these are our homemade laying boxes. And then we also have our, we put the run chicken laying box in here. Now, let me say this. this is the only complaint I have with the run chicken thing is the little front part to go into the um, laying box is just by sticker. Like, it's just the double-sided tape. And for me, in a dirty environment, it just fell right off. So that's one thing I would say, Run Chicken, if you were to improve on anything, is to make your laying boxes just a hair deeper and make this a, to be screwed on, personally. Um, they, they've tried laying in it, but they just can't get comfortable. And so they choose to go to just the regular laying boxes. But man, we need to clean this baby out. So one of these days, we're going to have to bring you along and we'll show, us what, show you how we clean our coop out and how we do things here. But also, that's a Cornish cross from this fall that have been doing great. Um, they've wintered, and we're at a high elevation. So that they're they're living it up to their fullest against all odds. We also have a couple of red rangers we kept clear back from April that are doing great and laying eggs for us. I'm gonna double check, make sure Trevor watered the donkeys. It looks like he did, so we're good to go. Good morning, guys. Say hi. Can you say hi to everybody? This is C, and this is B. We raised her on a bottle, and then this is Huck and Finn, our mammoth jacks. I think Trevor and Everest are making some French toast inside, so I'm gonna go inside after doing the chores and uh, go get some breakfast. Also, tell me if I'm crazy or not. I see one dark brown one, two green ones, a cream-colored one, two tan ones, and what I think are pink ones. Do they look pink, or am I crazy? Please let me know. 